We are closing in on our Golden Boot series finale, as we probably have two to three episodes left here in the My Player career. There's about 11 matches left. There are 11 matches left, unless there's anything extra at the end that I am unaware of. But as it currently stands, we are still in second in Serie A, needing to find a way to get above Milan. We are four points below them. We've lost to them this season. We need some help to go our way, but we do have a match quickly approaching against them. As we go jump over to the calendar, we will start today with a little bit of some revenge, hopefully, against Bergamo, as they did kick us out of Coppa Italia after a 3-0 just horrendous showing by us. So we'd love to get some revenge against them. Then we're going to take a short trip out to the U.S. national team with some international friendlies against Qatar and Sweden. Then after that, we have some Sassuolo, Genoa, then a Juventus match, and then probably it will be next episode against Milan. But some games that we definitely need to go our way with just over two months left. We also have another matchup against Roma, who has kind of been a rival for us. So there's definitely some big games left for us to take care of as we do wrap up this series. And I've talked about switching over to a Creator Club after with the timing of some releases and even with uh, EA Sports FC 24 or whatever they're calling it coming out fairly shortly, I want to say about a month away, kind of throws off the timing with a lot of these. So I think what we're going to do after we wrap up this series is take a little bit of a break from FIFA on the channel for a little bit. Primarily, I do Madden videos, do those four times a week and then add in some FIFA two times a week. So with the release of Madden 24 on August 18th, I'm going to dive in heavily to Madden. There will still be FIFA on the channel, just going to be a little bit later on. Definitely want to jump in with the release of a new game. Hopefully grow the channel a little bit there as well. So FIFA will be back after this series. Don't worry, but not going to be for a little bit. We're going to take a little bit of a break from FIFA and potentially if you guys down the line would like to see a rotation of these secondary sports games, FIFA is a secondary formula. Like I said, Madden is number one, but if you guys would like to see a rotation of like FIFA, MLB, the show and the NHL, then let me know. I would love to like have just a variety on the channel on these secondary ones, maybe just stick with the, my players and then on, on uh, Madden stick with the franchises. So let me know what you guys think about that, but it's time to try to get some revenge against Bergamo. We got to keep these points flowing in. And for the most part, lineup looks about the same that we saw last episode, where we definitely got the momentum flowing once again, almost finding our way back in the Champions League. But just those three down three and aggregate, those have been so difficult for us, even though we come back for it. Only difference it looks like here is Sanchez and Bacow have switched for that left and right back spot. But besides that, everything as usual. And it will be a clear matchup here. It looks like a bright, sunny day. And typically we prefer the overcast, the, the rain matches. But this time, sunny, as again, we are looking for a little bit of some revenge. And let's have the goal for this match be to score or assist in three total goals. And I'll go ahead and take that quick steal. Maybe look for a through pass as the airplane flies above me. Sorry if you could hear it, but it will be an early goal in the fourth minute. Lofted in beautifully from Diaz. And with a goalie coming in, great strike puts it in the back of the net. It was also quite a beautiful one-time shot as well. And a really bad throw in from the key will be an extremely quick leveler from Bergamo. Just an awful, I don't even know what Silvestri was doing there. He caught the ball and went to throw it back in, but threw it straight at 18, who very quickly capitalizes. Oh, with that really bad play from our keep, let's see if we can make something happen here with a shot in from Diaz, however, was extremely soft. Now as things open up, Orezo will take the shot into the top left side of that net and go ahead and retake a lead here. Now, goalie, can you actually hold on to this one? 
Now Bergamo taking it down the side, trying to find a cross back in. Though they have to drop it back a fair bit more than what they were probably hoping for. And I do clip a little bit of that ankle. And indeed, it will be a free kick for 18, who scored their goal earlier. Hopefully, goalie does a little bit better here for us. As maybe not going to be 18. No, instead they lay it on for the man blocked well by four. Now can we get a quick counter attack? As we rush upfield here. Look for the ball all the way across. Yes. Attack the middle. No, go back out wide. Rodriguez back to the middle. Offside. No, not offside. Look for the juke. And I can't quite get the pass off. We had a run to that left-hand side. I think that might have been four. Maybe Arezo, but... Just couldn't get the pass off. Was a good build, but I don't finish it very well. We'll get stuck in there again. A little bit too much. They're missing the, the ball. I keep hitting the player. Instead will be a corner for Bergamo, which they will take short. Make sure we at least keep on some of these guys here. We haven't done very well defensively from these corners, but it's talking about more specifically my player, but do well there. Now as we close in towards the end of the first half here. Maybe look for a pass in. We'll find Arezo. Arezo chipped in. Has a man there. Rodriguez just does not get a very good shot in. That's kind of just been our thing here. Not a lot of great shots once we've driven the ball in. Now as we lift this one up for Arezo. Who has a man coming on. He takes the shot but it goes wide. Now, once again, things building out here. Man coming on. Let's take the shot. And the goalie just sat there flat-footed with the ball coming in. Had plenty of time to move over. But I'll take the goal for sure. Will end up being a goal from about 20 yards out. I was just trying to have some fun with it. Definitely didn't expect anything of it. But, uh, yeah, heck of a goal will be two for me on the day. As Bergamo had an opportunity there, but they sent it straight to the keep. Ooh, that one might not be good for me. Just a yellow. I'll take the yellow. Now Bergamo working the ball in here with a throw in. They do have a guy towards the top of the box. Drop it back even further. Trying to make sure we stick on him. Didn't do too well there. Luckily, he didn't take the shot, and he waits till I actually get right in front of him to take that shot. Not going to steal that one away. Had to be careful with our yellow card. Ends up going straight to the key. Now a deep cross in. With about 15 minutes left, Bergamo will maybe get the corner. Yes, they will. Looked like it was out on Sanchez, and it was indeed out on Sanchez. They will take this one short. Building towards the top of the box. We'll pass it back further. Driving in. Powerful shot. Pushed wide. So instead, corner take two. This time they do actually send it into the middle. And it actually was almost a goal. Somehow, despite being in front of the man, they do get a nice header in. Still an opportunity, though, but not a great touch. Goalie will collect. Now with some space opening up here. They do get it into me. Shot across, and let's make it a hat trick. And also does complete the goal from the top of the episodes. Three goals in this match we came into this game with 40 goals so far make it 43 and it looks like we're on our way to getting at least some revenge here against Bergamo knocking us out of the Coppa Italia but you know we at least are doing our thing here in Syria and with about 30 seconds left in this one let's find some space for another long shot send it straight to the keep this time though doesn't stand completely flat-footed, but it will be a dominant when they beat us 3-0 in Coppa Italia. Well, we beat them in Syria 4-1. And from there, we quickly move on to international play with the U.S. national team. Once again, these games are always at the same place and always quite clear. Though the main thing, though, is we haven't gotten too many starts with the U.S. national team, but we are now. 100% locked into the starting rotation. So, could help the team out a little bit more, perhaps, as we're going to, again, look for some goals here. Two shots on target? You can easily make that three. I say easily. Sure hope so, as it looks like we're starting more as a left wing, maybe? Or right wing? Maybe I should know my directions. 
So far, first offensive possession working out pretty well as we go out wide. Why did you wait to take the shot? You know what? Never mind. You wait because it works for you. A quick strike from Robinson will put us ahead of Qatar 1-0. A nice deep cross in has our man. However, he's definitely going to need some help. We'll drop it back to us. Get a pass into the 45 who loads up, has you know enough power, but accuracy lacking. Now we still have not gotten a shot in yet. Let's take one there. And you know, accuracy was pretty good. Now maybe we could work something a little bit better here. We do get the ball. Have a shot to that left-hand side. Goalie doing pretty well, at least whenever I'm taking shots. But there, that is at least two shots on target, which was the main match objective, though it did go with the enhance for three. See if we could step up here, not getting on the end of that one. Move towards the top of the box instead. Not going to get that ball. Wrap or not, because we're taking a long shot wide again. Now we have the shot opening up here, a long one. Maybe if that was more to the right, maybe would have been a little bit more impactful there. But once again, shot goes to the keep, or the keep just makes a great play. Now with about no time left here in stoppage, we're looking for the cross. It does not come, though we might have another opportunity. No. Ref will blow the whistle. It was well after the one minute of stoppage. So that first half, not bad. We have a 1-0 lead. Couple shots on net, but besides that, we need to do a little bit better. Now as we do get the second half underway here, quick one-timer. Too much on it. Well, this crowd definitely is not uh, finding too much to get excited about, for sure. Though opportunities still remain. And there we go. Finally, get one in the back of the net. Finally, another goal since, what, the fifth minute? We'll make it 2-0 here against Qatar. And it opens up for our teammate who will rocket it into that left side of the net and rather quickly will make it 3-0 here against Qatar. And now Qatar with about 10 minutes left in this one looking for something, though we do slide in and disrupt at least a little bit of a lane. They do get the ball right back into the box, though we do well defensively. And the final whistle will sound. You know, there wasn't a whole lot from that match despite, you know, the 3-0 scoreline. We had some shots that were decent, were saved, but besides those, it was a lot of nothing until the ball just went to the back of the net. But I'll take it, a 3-0 win here against Qatar. Now, as we move on to the match against Sweden, not too sure how much of this match I'm actually going to participate in because I am not doing very well from a stamina point. It is about only three quarters full, so we'll need to play safely. The last thing I would want would be an injury while out on international duty. So let's just, you know, not do that. As we are finally playing in a different stadium. At least I'm pretty sure most of them have not been at the same place or have been at the same place. We're going to go with the same target as we did last time. Three shots on net, even though we probably aren't going to be playing a whole lot of this match. I want to get at, be at least out here for the first half. And then we'll see about the second. But as some space opens up for us in the middle here, let's try to grab an early shot. That one does get blocked. And then a lofting shot over the net. That was actually one of my former teammates. Shout out to the beginning of this series when we were with the Sounders. That was Christian Roldan who sent that a little bit too high. Let's get a shot or a pass into the middle here. See what we could get rolling. Apparently that's uh, almost getting taken out. Luckily we do get the ball right back. As you do get it forward, we can sit in the middle here. How about you take the shot? Blocked, sent wide. But we will at least get the corner off of it. Come in and I'm pretty sure I almost karate kicked that guy in the back of the head. Luckily we didn't do that, but we will take the shot, but it goes straight to the keep. However, a poor throw has us right back in the box and we take the shot and somehow, some way, gets by the key. We had a good amount of power. Hello, there's the old teammate. Nice celebrating with old teammates, especially towards the end of this series. Shout out again back to our time with the Sounders, but just 
rifling that one across, and maybe the goalie's vision was blocked, but I feel like he could have done better there. Now Sweden with a corner after our defenseman just kicked the ball out of the back line for no apparent reason. Not going to get a lot on it is the Sweden man, and we'll fall straight to one of our backup keeps. Number 22 is definitely not going to be a starter for us. Now we'll carry it forward, a nice pass forward, take the shot across, and let's make it 2-0 against Sweden. A great shot up top, number 12. Haven't seen him out there too much, have seen Pulisic, but a fantastic shot from, I don't know how to actually pronounce that name, and one way could be a bad way of saying it, so I'm just not going to say it. But a great shot as we do get the ball right back here. Let's not lose the ball, get it back up to him. Over to seven, who will take the long shot pushed wide from the keep. So we'll take a corner off of it. Maybe come front post. Will come into us, header. Sent it at the keep, pushes wide once again. So let's take corner part dose here. Again, back towards the front, header. Re rinse and repeat pretty much right there. Do we try it for a third time? Back towards this front one. No, they go mid post. Ball popped up. We just headbutt the absolute absolute <laughs> out of the the Swedish guy there get a shot in but uh, yeah fortunately after all of that no goal and it does open up here for us with just a little bit of time left before half it was a good shot but almost an even better save we will have another opportunity for that top right corner not quite accurate enough However, it did have a nice little bend to it. Just a little bit too much power on it. But we're definitely running out of steam here. So we will probably just be playing until half. And I would like to go into half with a little bit more than just the two goal lead. And we might just have one more attempt here. Before. Yeah. Goes right to us. To that left side. And there we go. Goalie came flying in to try to get the save. He just could not get there in time and that will be pretty sure my last touch here in the international window and how fitting that the assist from it is from christian roldan i love when these things kind of all come back to themselves you know like you play with the guy who's your former team and if you've been watching the commander's replacement squad and you missed yesterday's episode it was a big one check it out but full circle things love it but at half we will make our substitute and exit. We put the team up, not a fantastic match rating, but the two goals. And I definitely do not want to finish this season injured. So I'm going to take it. We're up 3-0. Can we hold on to it? Yes. <laughs> and we actually end up growing it as Jordan gets a goal late. I don't know. I'm assuming that's probably not Jordan Morris, but that would be cool if it was. But we do win. Beating Sweden 5-0. Now as we move back into Syria to take on 12th ranked Sassuolo. Still four points down against Milan. So once again, needed to bring in as many points as possible. And it just feels so right having the rain game. We've kind of gone on a streak for a while of not having one. So it feels nice as we come back from the international window playing with our squad here. Now, what do we want? All the points. We want the three points. Again, trying to keep up as much as possible with Milan. And it will start with a quick steal that just so happens to go straight back to the Sassuolo player. Now, Sassuolo with an attempt to actually work that space really well. Luckily, Silvestri does push it wide, so no goal. They do take the corner short. We'll drive it in. Towards the top of the box, slide in. We'll make him drop it back. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. As I'll work it back around. And actually will cut in and kind of get rid of it, at least for a little bit. Not a great clearance, but does buy us a little bit of some time. As the man works the ball around, we'll cut out. Nice interception of number four. Now they have worked the ball back into the box. Cut out well. Good job, Thaven. A big boot from Rodriguez into the middle, but... Does not stick with us, and I can't stick on a man either. So Sassuolo with a lot of offense early on here. Bacow with a great job defensively. Now left over to me from Diaz. Back out to Diaz. No. Instead, over to me. Okay. We have some space and a bad touch. Carried it too close to the keep. 
We won't really have a clean shot, nor any shot, but maybe a throw in. And indeed we will. We'll go into us. Let's try to have a quick turn here. And yeah, we're not, do we're not doing well <laughs> since coming back in here. Drop the ball. No. Okay. But let's look for a shot. We do get the pass across, but cut out well. Now the ball just happens to end up falling to the Sassuolo man and then gets taken out by Sanchez. Luckily, the ref letting us play. Although Sassuolo steals the ball right back, driving in, has their man, and Silvestri with a heck of a save. Now with about 15 to 20 minutes left in this one, will end up being a corner that we cut out pretty nicely, but does end up going right back to Sassuolo. We need to find a go-ahead goal here. Their defense has just been honestly phenomenal. Ours has been really good as well, though it opens up for him here. Silvestri will save, and let's just get this one up the pitch. 27 up top. Can't hold on to it. Bacow sends it up. Flicked on, but no one's there. And there's about no time left in this one either, so it's looking like it's going to be a draw, despite us really needing all three points. And indeed, that'll be the case. Hopefully Milan drops some points as well. It'll just be one for us here. And Milan do drop points, so we are just three points behind. But after such a bad performance all around, the whole team just did not perform. Defensively, we played well. Offensively, we did not play well in that last match. So we got to get that back going. And this time... It's going to be a nice clear day as we're taking on Genoa. Again, needing three points here. If Milan happened to drop any more points, could be really big for us. Score at least one goal. Yeah, let's try to make that two to make up for the last match where we really didn't do anything. I don't even know if I had a shot in on net. Now we are starting things off with at least a little bit more space here. And a shot that ricochets in for Diaz. Guess we took all the luck we didn't have last match, saving it for this one to open up. Diaz ricochets off the left post and all the way across to the right and in. So already inside five minutes, we take a 1-0 lead here against Genoa. Let's try to keep that flowing. Now Genoa has worked the ball down for a corner. They had a pretty... Decent shot, though I did not expect it to get close to the net. Goalie did have to push it over the top. And that's where we got to this corner, which we're still trying to battle off of. And eventually Sanchez will come in and cut the ball out. And we do have to hold our run for a second. Though man's coming on, so let's take the long shot. And wow, we're loving this woodwork today. First Diaz off the left post. Now that time, off the underneath of the top bar and in from distance. We'll take another look at it just because of how beautiful it was. We're from about 15, 17 yards out. Sure, why not? Let's do this three look animation here. We take the long shot over the goalie off the underneath of that top bar and in. And thank you very much for that one. Get that over to, that is Orezo. Get it back up top to me. What are we looking like here? How about a long shot with too much power under it? Got a little too excited. Now it opens up for us here right across the middle, letting it rip that time. The goalie did get a little bit on it. It sent it off the top bar and out of the goal. Heck of a save off of what could have been a really nice goal. We're definitely just letting some of these rip late on in this season now that we, for the most part, have locked in. Our golden boot up what was like 20 something goals on the next guy. And we might have another opportunity for a long one here as the defender is coming on now. Nice little spin move. Create a little bit of some space to that left side. Goalie pushes it wide. Maybe eventually we'll get a bicycle kick in here too off of one of the corners. That would be nice. Coming in and not going to get on the end of that one. <laughs> Definitely not anywhere close to getting a bicycle on it either. To that right side, another corner. Maybe this time we could set up a little bit of a bicycle. No, not with that tight of some defensemen. It was decently aimed, but the goalie does push it wide and they get it out. 
As the ball gets pushed out wide, look for the cross in, header over the goalie. Let's get two goals in on the day, and that one in stoppage, just about seven seconds left before half. A heck of a cross from the outside, I'm pretty sure it was Thaven. And Genoa will have a free kick here. Not quite sure why, though. Didn't look like anything crazy to me. But they will send it in straight to Silvestri. He will catch it. All's good. Now we've scored twice in this one. Could we maybe find a third? Right now, no, because we get the ball up and Orezo will widen our lead. Heck of some teamwork there. Get the pass up to four, who then finds Orezo with a nice shot past the keep. Keep has not had a very fun day today. Four nil. Now Genoa actually finding a little bit of some space takes the shot and they will at least pull one back here, make it 4-1. Sanchez just a step off from getting the block. Now we've worked our way out for a corner. Let's try to move to about mid post, although it goes back to Arezo who tried to have a little bit of an athletic shot there. Didn't quite work. So let's work it around the whole side here, maybe trying to cut in. No, works out well, find the pass. One time shot and there's an assist to Thaven. He's come through for me so time, so many times. Good to get one to him. Now we might have one more opportunity here before I go ahead and ask to be subbed out. That shot doesn't quite work, but we'll still hold on to it. Get the pass up, pass across to the middle, all the way around and so loud, I mean, not fantastic, but he's holding on to it. Thaven with some footwork. Get the juke in, another shot, and a little bit too much on it. But from there, we will go ahead and leave the pitch. About 12 minutes left. Can we hold on to a 5-1 lead? We had a 9.1 match rating, two goals, one assist. And it ends up being two goals late, one for Sorloth and one for Yaboa. Ends up being a 6-2 win as we do bring home all three points. Now, where does that leave us against Milan? And as this episode comes to a close, we are one point off of Milan. We start next episode taking on Juventus, who are at five. That is a must-win game, as following it is our match against Milan. Not only do we have a chance to grab the lead here in Syria, top of the table, but a chance to stake claim at the top. Those two matches to kick off next episode will be big. We will then have some matches against some teams that we historically have played very well against. Monza, Salernitana, and Empoli. We've had mixed results against Roma. So three really big matches and the other three we should get all three points. So as this series is coming close to an end, some really, really big matches ahead as we try to win Serie A before it's all said and done. This golden boot is pretty much all said and done. We're at 45 goals and 31 matches. The next best man out of Milan, he's at 23 in 32. We do have Diaz at 4, 22 in 31, so that's fun. But some really big, important matches to start off next time so make sure you stick around as that could very well be the series finale taking on juventus then milan and then trying to hold on to what would hopefully be a lead at that point knock on wood so make sure you guys subscribe bear icon on the bottom right or scroll down hit the actual subscription button and tick that bell icon so you're notified of when these videos go live this series tuesday and friday though it is coming to an end and as mentioned at the top, we will be taking a break from, free, from FIFA at the end of this to focus on the release of Madden 24. So I'll talk about all that a little bit more as that time approaches. So stay tuned to the channel, especially the community tab. But until next time, some big matches ahead of us. We'll see you guys then. Bye.